Are you using the right front wing for your foil drive setup? After riding the foil drive for the past couple months now, our staff, we've developed a pretty good understanding of what front wings will work well with foil drive. For the sake of today's video and keeping it simple, it's really hard to generalize wing recommendations when there's so many different size of riders and so many different skill levels out there. Today, I'm gonna be making recommendations for people that are about 200 pounds or less riding a board about five feet in length, 50 to 90 liters of volume. If you're gonna be riding a front wing that is smaller than 1,000 square centimeters, so we have an 850 square centimeter front wing right here, it's gonna be really hard to get up an e-foil with your foil drive with the front wing that that's small. The reason being is you have to take it going extremely fast to get that foil to activate and produce enough lift to get you up and out of the water. When using a wing that small, you're gonna need a wake, a wave, a paddle, or a wing with some decent wind to get up and ride on that small of a front wing. Moving on, we have our next class, which is about 1,000 to 1,200 square centimeters for a front wing. So with a slightly bigger wing, if you have you know, a wake, some wind in a wing, or a wave, or a paddle, you may be able to get up an e-foil with your foil drive on a wing that's about 1,000 to 1,200 square centimeters. It's going to be easier than the small 850 here but it's still gonna be tricky to get up and ride. So you'll probably need a little bit of assist more than the foil drive to do so. If you have a front wing that's bigger than 1200 square centimeters, something like this guy here, you're gonna have a pretty good chance of being able to e-foil your foil drive if you have a big enough board. The reason being is once you're over 1200 square centimeters, the wing really doesn't need to go that fast to get up on foil to get you out of the water and e-foiling around with your foil drive. Next, let's talk about the aspect ratios because aspect ratio does play a part in your front wing decision for your foil drive. So here, both of these wings are about 1,100 square centimeters, plus or minus a little bit. As you can see, this top wing here is a lot more high aspect than this medium aspect wing down below here. Now this top wing, the more high aspect wing, this is going to get up on foil and glide better than this medium aspect front wing. Now this top wing here, it's gonna glide better. So your foil drive is gonna be more efficient because the wing itself is more efficient with its high aspect design. Now looking at this more medium aspect front wing, it's gonna get up and out of the water at a lower speed compared to the higher aspect wing. However, it's not gonna be as efficient as the higher aspect wing because it's not as high aspect. Now, why does efficiency matter? A more efficient front wing is going to mean that your foil drive battery lasts longer. So that's the reason why some people are hopping to a higher aspect front wing rather than a medium aspect. But the medium aspect is better than the high aspect wing because it gets up and out of the water at slower speeds. So you don't have to generate as much speed with your foil drive. This was a quick overview of what wings will work with your foil drive. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to contact us at matkiteboarding.com via phone, email, or live chat. But until next time, happy shredding guys, and we hope that these foil drive videos are helping you out on your foil drive journey.